Discover customer service, this is Maya. Oh, hi Maya. You robots are sounding more human every day. At Discover, everyone can talk to a human representative. All right, prove it. Wait, are you a robot? 24 seven US based customer service. How would I prove that I'm not? Mm. 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 Delicious creamy milk chocolate and whole hazelnuts. The Lind Hazelnut Bar. It's beyond words. Find your mm. at checkout. You're watching Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by the Army National Guard. Here in a town where basketball is king, Indianapolis, we move on to the semifinals in the tournament that crowns the best high school team in the nation. It's time for the boys' semifinals. The two seed, Paul the Sixth from Chantilly, Virginia, and the six seed, Link Academy from Branson, Missouri, the reigning champs from a year ago. The winner advances to the final tomorrow, noon Eastern on ESPN2, to play either the top seed, Montverde, or the five seed, Columbus. That game coming up here on ESPN2. And we welcome you courtside along with ESPN's National Director of Recruiting, Paul Biancardi. I'm Ted Emmerich. It is Final Four weekend in college basketball. And here at Brownsburg High School, yes, pump your fist, we've got four of the best high school teams in the nation still standing. Yeah, I thought yesterday showed why we have the best talent at high school nationals than we ever had before, and I expect today to be even better. These two teams played back in December. It was a three-point game, Paul the 6-1. The key to this game is going to be rebounding, speaking to both coaches before the game. Yeah, that was in the third place game at the City of Palms Classic just before Christmas. Just two of the impact players that we'll be watching today because the game is full of young stars. For Paul the Six, Darren Harris, 36 points against IMG in the quarterfinals, one short of the Chipotle Nationals record. LeBaron Phylon had a game high 24 and a double overtime win over Prolific Prep. But Paul, Darren Harris just went off yesterday against IMG. LeBaron Phylon was terrific off the ball, making jump shots and drives to the basket. The young man headed to Kansas to play for Bill Self. Showed you why he's one of the best one-on-one -on -one players in the class. Got a lot of looks behind the arc, took advantage in the paint, was ready and cashed in from the outside for Link Academy. For Paul the Six, Darren Harris was in a different zone yesterday. Played his best on the big stage in big moments. This guy's one of the best shot makers in the class of 2024, and he's headed to play for John Shire at Duke. We check out the starting five for PVI. Ben Hammond, the point guard, signed with Rhode Island. Had a huge game yesterday as well. 20 points, 13 assists, and four steals. Isaiah Abraham headed to Connecticut. Garrett Sundra to Notre Dame, and Jordan Smith is one of the best sophomores in the nation. For Link Academy, Along with Phylon in the backcourt, Trey Johnson, number five player in the senior class, signed with Texas. Jasper Johnson is a top ten junior. Jalen Shelley and James Brown up front. Link in the black, Paul the sixth in the white. And the semifinals underway here in the boys' bracket. Now back on December 23rd in the third place game at City of Palms. Paul the six won 74-71. Harris had 25 in that game. Jordan Smith misses the three to start for PBI. And the reason why each coach said rebounding was so important is because they respect each other so well. The team they feel that gets the most possession in this game will win. Last time these two teams played, Paul the six had 16 offensive rebounds on 29 missed shots. That's an outstanding percentage. Jasper Johnson misfires for Link, and that was without Patrick Gongba, the big man headed to Duke, returning this week at Chipotle Nationals from foot surgery. He had in November, and again, he'll come off the bench today for Paul the Sixth. Harris draws the foul on the drive. And that's against Jalen Shelley. First foul of the game. Now, Gongba played nine minutes yesterday. Glenn Farello. PVI's head coach says he's comfortable bumping it up to the 16 to 20 range because he handled those nine minutes so well. The reason he was on limited minutes was conditioning, not injury. So he's totally healthy to go. Just how long can he go? Yeah. 
Link wants to keep Hammond out of the paint. Abraham blocked by Shelley on the perimeter. Remember the block that Shelley had in double overtime against A.J. DeBonza yesterday. Game winning block, top of the key, with a chance to tie the game. Shelley took it away. What a game Shelley put together, too. 15 points, nine rebounds to go with that block. Again, signed with Arkansas as the must bus has departed for USC. The must bus went west <laughs> on the must plane. <laughs> Johnson missed the shot, but an offensive board. Boy, Trey Johnson started sluggishly offensively, but he helped Link win as a playmaker and as a defender yesterday. Usually you talk about Trey Johnson as the man. He was the X factor yesterday for Link. Eight assists in the second half. Brown misses and Sundra clears for Paul the sixth. And Phylon got all those points because of Trey Johnson. And Darren Harris breaks the seal with a three. He had five of them yesterday. Yeah, Bill Armstrong said, look, he's going to get his points. We have to make sure they're not efficient points. Brown, the future Tar Heel. Had it knocked out of his hands, but it'll stay with Link. Darren Harris picking up where he left off yesterday. One dribble rhythm into a three-point shot, and that's what Glenn Farello told me this morning. This kid's a rhythm player. Once he gets into a zone or a rhythm, there's not much anybody can do to slow him down or shut him down. T.O. Barrett checks in for Link. Three in the black, signed with Missouri. Johnson falls, and still Link ball here. Last touch by PVI, 11 to shoot. I thought PVI did a really good job of finding Darren Harris yesterday. The hot hand kept feeding him shots. And they understand that this is a guy who could lead them to a championship here at Chipotle Nationals. 11 on the timer. Harris poked it out. And Link still has it. Now 10 on the timer. And it was an efficient 36 from Harris. He took 21 shots. He was 5 of 9 from 3. And an offensive foul on Brown. Trying to set the screen. James Brown fouled out in the quarterfinals. It's his first today. Now take a look at this defense by Link Academy in the black. It's a zone, soft zone press. One, three, and then one. They look to trap you over half court. Abraham hits the pull up. That time they didn't trap. They like to trap in the corners, not so much up high. Phylon. Brown with the tip, and Trey Johnson comes up with it. Johnson the step back. Now Trey Johnson missed his first seven shots yesterday, ended up with a dozen points, but again, nine assists. And like you said, eight of them after halftime. Hammond misses the runner. Trey Johnson clears, and a foul called against Garrett Sundra. Uh, Paul the sixth, his first. And so here comes Patrick Gongba, number 18 player in the senior class, the number three center, signed with Duke, had foot surgery in November and making his return to the court this week in Indianapolis. He gives Paul the sixth a paint presence, paint security on the defensive end, and an option in the low post offensively. Just another weapon for PVI. But the guards really feel comfortable on the defensive end with him in the paint, knowing that he can reject shots, chain shots. Got a post touch and lost it out of bounds against James Brown. And that's to be expected. He hasn't played basketball in six months, although he did dive on the floor with about two minutes to go while his team was up by a substantial margin. Man, that was impressive, too. At his size, 6'11", 250 pounds, first game back and making those hustle plays. Link is 0 of 6 from the floor to start. Trey Johnson. No, make it 0 for 7. Isaiah Abraham doing a good job on Trey Johnson, trying to make him work for shots and contesting the ones that he takes. That's a great matchup, too. Abraham considered Paul the sixth defensive stopper all year in the WCAC. Glenn Farello told us he shut down McDonald's All-American Price and Tucker of Bishop O'Connell this year. And Abraham hits the shot over Johnson at the other end. And he's been much more effective with his jump shot in the last year or so. Always a driver, defender, finisher. 
Now he gets to the pull-up jump shot and the catch-and-shoot three with a great, great sense of confidence. Barrett cut off by Harris, and Gongbo with the deflection, leading to the turnover. Abraham feeds Jordan Smith, and Hammett is there for the putback. A timeout for Link Academy as PVI races out to a 9-0 lead. Just a great start for Paul the sixth. Transition, fast break. Jordan Smith with the miss. Ben Hammond with the follow. So beautiful. Morning, Rob. Looking great. Does that say USAA? Yeah, USAA. Amazing home, auto, and life insurance. Plus banking and credit cards. I'm in because of my dad. You think that'll finally get you in? Probably not, but it looks great. USAA, for the military community and their families. Perfection. Mmm. 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 Delicious creamy milk chocolate and whole hazelnuts. The Lind Hazelnut Bar. It's beyond words. Find your mm. at checkout. Chipotle Basketball Nationals, presented by Army National Guard, is brought to you by Chipotle. Real ingredients, real flavor. Chipotle for real. And the Army National Guard, the next greatest generation, is now. All 14 teams here at High School Nationals getting a chance to load up their bowls and burritos at a local Chipotle in the Indianapolis area. It was National Burrito Day yesterday. Paul definitely celebrated that. Paul the Six celebrated a big quarterfinal win over IMG yesterday, hitting 101 points, yes, in a game with eight-minute quarters. And Paul, Paul the Six, was down by 11 at one point in the first quarter. Well, the second and third quarter for Paul the Six, that's where they threw the knockout punts against IMG. They outscored IMG 60 to 24 in the second and third quarter. Link trying to get on the board here, and T.O. Barrett can't do it. So Link 0 for 7 from the floor. And PVI with a 9-0 lead here in the semifinals. You're going to see PVI just look to execute in the half court. If the uh, first option's not there, they're going to look to their counter. Ben Hammond's going to control the action number three in the white. And they will be very smart in their shot selection. Smith taking the baseline. Abraham, a corner three. Give it to him. What a start for Isaiah Abraham. He's got seven. The team's best defender making a pull-up jump shot and a three-point shot headed to Connecticut. Wonder if Danny Hurley's watching somewhere as his team gets ready for the final four. Trey Johnson puts Link on the board, the best pure scorer in the class of 2024. And much like Darren Harris, he is a rhythm shooter. Hammond is fouled as Jackson Ford with the block. Penetration, opposite corner, knocked down by Abraham. And that's something that Paul the Six works on in practice. A lot of teams work on it. You drive baseline, you look under the basket for the dunker spot, if not the opposite corner. Now Abraham picked UConn over Marquette, Providence, and Virginia Tech. The number 85 player in the senior class. He has that mentality, that approach that Danny Hurley's going to love. He's a worker. He's a fighter. He gets through adversity. Obviously, his skill level has improved on the offensive end, especially in his shooting. But he brings that defensive mindset to UConn. And Abraham gets a breather here as Jordan Smith returns for Paul the Sixth. Link just switching everything on that baseline out of bounds play. Harris on the drive, threw it up. Smart play by Darren Harris, who is heading to the line. These two teams in the last 24 hours have scouted each other very well. They played back in December at the City of Palms. PVI won by three. So since the scouting is so high level, you have to go to your counters. You have to go to your slips. You have to go to rescreens. You have to do other things when they take the first option away. 
Harris was perfect at the line yesterday, seven for seven, part of that 36 point effort. Oh, and you killed Jinx. him. There you go. ABC Saturday, NHL doubleheader, Lightning in Pittsburgh to take on the Penguins at one Eastern. Then Coach B's all about this. The B's hosting the Florida Panthers. Coverage beginning at 12.30 Eastern. There's no such thing as the announcer's jinx. It does not exist. Darren Harris can't hear me. But he's thinking about what you just said. No, he's not, he can't hear me. I just said that. <laughs> he splits the pair. <laughs> Darren Harris is gonna make a lot more than he misses. That's like me. the coach who says to the official, can I get a technical for what I'm thinking? <laughs> and he says no, and I say good, because I think you uh, are oh. not very good. Did you ever use that in a game? Once a game. Uh, <laughs> once per. Oh, James Brown, the big man for three. And Jaquan Womack pulls it down. Ahead to Smith, the sophomore. Harris, quick trigger. Bottom. Darren Harris is simply lethal from the outside. He had 15 points in the fourth quarter in his state championship win. He was the MVP of the Peach Jam. Came up big in that game. He loves the moment, and he loves the big stage. Jasper Johnson off target. And Hammond, you see how Paul the Six can move it up the floor just like that. And Hammond is fouled. Ben Hammond put so much pressure on the defense in transition and in the half court. But Harris puts as much pressure with the three-point shot. Look, he's going to the line. He's looking for his shot. If you take the jumper away, he's going to shot fake you and drive you into the basket. He's got a pull-up shot and a strong drive game. He's put together very well at 6'5". How does Harris fit with the likes of Cooper Flagg, who we'll see coming up 430 Eastern here on ESPN2, Isaiah Evans, and the rest, also Patrick Gongba, of course, his teammate at PBI, and the rest of the number one recruiting class? They're all going to get so much attention, and Darren Harris is going to be able to get wide open shots to start, and then he's going to become part of the scouting report once ACC play starts. But I think in the non-conference, he's going to get a lot of looks because he's a freshman and people don't think he can, you know, step up to the occasion, even though he's a ranked player. And he'll make teams pay early in the season. And then he'll have to adjust when teams start to really guard him like Link is trying to guard him this afternoon. Now Link needs to put it in the hole. They're one for 11. That'll help. Jasper Johnson, who was off yesterday in the quarterfinals, banks it in. Johnson, number eight junior, had seven points on one of eight shooting yesterday against Prolific. Sutra the feed to Gongba. Benjamin affected the shot, but Gongba stuck with it, and he's fouled. I mean, that's a huge front line for Paul VI. <laughs> they are big. 6'9", six, 6'9". Nine, six, nine. Look at that number one class. Isaiah Evans is going to be a terrific player at Duke. He reminds me a lot of Brandon Ingram. You see him on the far left, number 24. Shifty with the ball, knocks down threes, just needs weight, just needs coaching at, at the next level. He was coached very well in high school by Dwayne Lewis. He's got to ad adapt and adjust to the physicality of the game, but a definite NBA prospect. And Darren Harris has grown his hair out from that picture that we just showed. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like the celebration yesterday after one of his five threes, giving the guy a haircut. You notice Darren everything, Harris, Ted. Darren Harris hasn't gotten a haircut all year. Looks good. I'm in favor. I mean, this front line for Paul the Six, Garrett Sundra against 6'9", and Patrick Gangba. I think he's 6'10 right now, 220. That is a huge front line. Jasper Johnson for three. Oh, an air ball. One of the best shooters in the junior class. Him in the pull up three. Wow. Right down the chute. How about a 21 to 5 lead with 30 seconds remaining in the quarter? Trey Johnson, step back three. And a foul called inside as Abraham came up with it, but the foul's going to go against Gongba. Look at the speed of Ben Hammond. It's like a BMW on the highway. He puts on the brakes, knocks it down. He read the defense was backing up. So instead of going to the basket, he pulled up, just buried it. Shot clock turned off here at the end of the quarter. Jasper Johnson trying to get past Jordan Smith. Wasn't going to happen. Now Phylon. 
Trey Johnson looking to create over Abraham. Offline, tip up by Benjamin and a foul with a tenth of a second remaining. We talk about how good Link Academy is defensively and rightfully so. Paul the sixth on the ball. They don't get beat. They level the drive. They help each other. They show on screens or they play drop coverage. I mean, they are a tight unit. You see white shirts everywhere when you touch the basketball against them. Benjamin, the senior from Newark, New Jersey, missing the first. He has visited James Madison. Iona also recruiting him. A few other schools involved as well. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Paul the Sixth likes to say they're a 10 0 run waiting to happen. How about this margin after eight minutes? 21 to 6 in the semifinals at Chipotle Nationals. Discover customer service. This is Maya. Oh, hi, Maya. You robots are sounding more human every day. At Discover, everyone can talk to a human representative. All right, prove it. Wait, are you a robot? 24 7 U.S. based customer service. How would I prove that I'm not? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 <laughs> Discover the melting sensation of Lindt Classic Recipe Milk Chocolate, the creamiest milk and finest cocoa, crafted by the Lindt Master Chocolatier. It's beyond words. Classic Recipe by Lindt. Now, discover the creamy, crunchy hazelnut bar by Lint. It's the most anticipated women's final four ever. And it's tonight on ESPN. Get Isaiah James and NC State knock off Camilla Cardoso in undefeated South Carolina at 7 Eastern. Then it's Paige Beckers in Connecticut against Caitlin Clark and Iowa. Final four pregame special from Cleveland beginning at 6. And don't forget about Sue and Diana. They're back on ESPN2 for both games. Semifinals here at Chipotle High School Nationals and the future UConn Husky Isaiah Abraham coming through early for PBI. You gotta love his versatility. Creates his own shot. Knocks down the assist from the corner so he can score from the assist. He can score on his own off the bounce. He's the team's best defender. He's a committed rebounder and he's a super athlete going to Connecticut. So the Panthers from the WCAC shoot 53% in the first quarter and they hold Link to 2 of 15 from the floor. And you said it right. They held Link. Link didn't miss shots. They made them miss shots. There's a difference. When you get open looks and you miss them, that's one thing. But everything was contested and challenged by Paul the Sixth. Trey Johnson, top five player. Look out. See the high hands? Yes, you were ready this time, just like I was at McDonald's on Tuesday. You, you were ducking right there. You were you're ready to duck. I was not ducking. <laughs> Get the camera on, Ted. <laughs> but, you don't, you but, don't need that. <laughs> but Paul the Sixth does everything with active, quick feet. Watch the high hands by Gongber in the middle. His hands are always out and up. Boy, Johnson against Abraham. Fun matchup, and he found James Brown. So Johnson with the playmaking. They might need more of that, just like Johnson delivered that yesterday. No question about it. They need his offense. He can create his own or get it from a half-court set. See, Link does some soft pressure in the backcourt to try to confuse you, and then they go man-to-man. -man. So it's zone-to-man by Link. An amoeba-like defense from Link that really helped them in the second half against Prolific. Six to shoot here for Jordan Smith over Trey Johnson. Gongba saves it. Harris. Gongba goes down underneath. And foul called against James Brown. That's his third. So Brown with three, Jalen Shelley with three, with two, and Jackson Ford with two for Link up front. A lot of young bigs get in foul trouble a lot because they leave their feet or they reach too much. Gongba fumbled it, a turnover. Ford swatted by Abraham. 
And Abraham banks it in at the other end. Isaiah Abraham has showed up here in Indianapolis. You're going to love his aggressiveness on offense and his willingness to defend Trey Johnson on defense. Johnson missing. Jasper Johnson tees it up, and he knocks down the three. Just the second triple for Link today. And Trey Johnson and Jasper. Jasper Johnson are great shooters. No relation. Darren Harris also a great shooter. And off the mark, hit the top. Link ball. When you have Darren Harris, Jasper Johnson, Trey Johnson, you have to take their airspace away. You have to be so close that they cannot get the shot off. You have to stay attached when they come off screens, and if you're rotating out, you've got to come right up to their chest. Jasper Johnson trying to leave it for T.O. Barrett. But again, nothing is coming easy. Foul is called here, but nothing is coming easy at all for Link against this Paul the Six defense. They're doing a great job one-on-one, -on -one, and that was a big key to the game, beside the rebounding. Can we guard Link one-on-one? -on -one? Because Link has some talented players in isolations that are hard to cover. And so far, Paul the Sixth is doing a great job on their individual defense. Trey Johnson matched up with Jaquan Womack this time. Abraham there as well. Again, the gravity of Trey Johnson offensively. Defense is always focusing on him, and Jasper Johnson scores. And now a steal by Trey Johnson. Three ball. Jasper Johnson misfires. And here comes Jordan Smith for Paul the sixth. All the way to the cup. Link is going to press you after a make. They're going to get into their 2-2-1. Two, two, They're going to try to force turnovers. I like the last two shots by Link. Trey Johnson couldn't hit the floater. They're pushing the pace. They just can't put it in the bucket. Smith again on the hard drive. He is a live wire, Paul. Again, a 10th grader. Tremendous heart by Jordan Smith. Just plays with a different level of intensity. A lot of guys play with Intensity, he plays at a different level of intensity, and Womack is really guarding right now for Paul the Sixth. Trey Johnson over Abraham, in and out. Another missed shot. A very similar start to this one, like Johnson had yesterday in the quarters. Harris on the drive, hanging, and couldn't get it to drop. Trey Johnson turned it over, a travel. Watch Paul the Six push the pace. Great rebound, toughness to secure it. Speed in the open court. Jordan Smith right to the rack, no wasted motion. Then he takes it from the elbow. A right-handed driver who will not be denied. Strong, fast, and under control at the same time. Jordan Smith. Now, Paul, Glenn Farello told us earlier this year that Jordan Smith reminds him of a young Victor Oladipo who Farello knew so well in the WCAC. Never takes a possession off. Looks to guard first, score second. He's got an incredible energy level that, you know, you're never disappointed at the end of the game with the effort of Jordan Smith. Hammond the jump stop. Too strong. And heading the other way with a foul called. I believe against Gongba. And all the things we're talking about, Ted, with Jordan Smith and Isaiah Abraham, these are the traits that translate to the next level for the half a million high school players that want to play in college. It's not about your jump shot. It's about a lot of other things like intensity and defense and IQ and jump stops. Timeout with Paul the Sixth of 14 here at Chipotle Nationals in the boys semifinals. So beautiful. Morning, Rob. Looking great. Does that say USAA? Yeah, USAA. Amazing home, auto, and life insurance. Plus banking and credit cards. I'm in because of my dad. You think that'll finally get you in? Probably not, but it looks great. USAA, for the military community and their families. 
perfection. Norman, bad news. I never graduated from med school. But the good news is, Xfinity Mobile just got even better. Now, you can automatically connect to Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig on the go. Plus, buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. I gotta get this deal. That's like $20 a month per unlimited line. I don't want to miss that. That's amazing. Mobile savings are calling. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. Aww. We welcome you back to Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by Army National Guard. Our first of two semifinals here today at Brownsburg High School, just west of Indianapolis. And coming up, Columbus and Montverde, the five seed and the one seed. And Paul, for the fifth time in the last nine months, either with their grassroots teams or their high school teams, it's Cameron Bo Boozer versus Cooper Flagg. Without question, this will be the biggest matchup between Flagg and Boozer. They've gone head to head in the past, like you mentioned. They have great respect for one another. Two of the best and brightest stars in the high school game and the future of college basketball and the NBA draft. This could be a movie tonight right before the Final Four. Potentially two number one picks in the NBA draft. Potentially 2025 and 2026. No? I, didn't, I didn't say anything. Potentially. Cooper, yes. Uh, Cam, I don't see him as a number one pick, but absolutely a lottery pick. He's number two in the ESPN 60. Things can change. Things can change. Tell you who the NBA just absolutely loves. We saw him yesterday, had a great game, A.J. DeBonza. I mean, he is number one in a lot of the eyes of the NBA scouts. That's the guy they want and they're waiting for to come out of high school. Of course, Cooper Flagg and Cam Boozer as well, but he's a unanimous one regardless of class. Over flag for right the now. NBA draft. For yes. the NBA dra among NBA scouts. Yes. Darren Harris short. Jaquan Womack picks it up. End of the shot clock. And Brandon Benjamin clears it for Link Academy. Just in the four NBA scouts I spoke with this morning who watched the game yesterday, it was clear he'd be the number one in any draft. Among all the high school players yes. that are available right now. Phylon floats it in. Regardless, yeah. college, high school, doesn't matter. Even for 2024. They didn't go that far. <laughs> Block shot by Jalen Shelley. Playing with the two personals here. Wow. And Shelley scoops it in. So a timeout for Paul the sixth. As Link shows some life, they cut it to 10. Just a matter of time for Link Academy. Their calling card is their defense. Scrapping, stripping, blocking. They have athletes who are highly skilled. Attacking the rack. Beautiful take. Crossover. Back to his left hand, Shelly. I mean, they have the talent, but they cannot score on the half court. So what do you do? You amp up your defense. That can create offensive fast break opportunities. That really helped them yesterday. Gets prolific prep in that double overtime win. It won them the game yesterday. Prolific prep could not figure out their zone defense that's shifted back to man-to-man. -man. No real point guard in the game. A.J. Dubonsa had to play point guard and scoring guard, and that won the game for Link Academy. That changed the game and finished the game. Paul the Six says led by 16. Down to 10 here, under three to play first half. They're back in that zone again. See, they'll, they'll stunt at you, back up. They'll try to trap you. Different looks, and now they go man to man. Try to eat into the shot clock. Hammond against the big Benjamin here, seven to shoot. And Hammond is stripped by Jasper Johnson. Johnson swatted by Abraham. What a first half he's put together. Harris, the kick, Abraham, the three. Isaiah Abraham is dialed in today. He's got a dozen. What execution, what togetherness and chemistry by Paul the sixth. That ball snapped from the left side of the court to the right side in a matter of seconds. Phylon too strong. 
And Hammond's got it. This team is so well coached, so well drilled. They have great togetherness, both in the summertime playing for team takeover and for Paul the Sixth. All five of their seniors were on that team takeover that won the Peach Jam. Harris has it stolen. Benjamin lays it in with a foul. Harris was trying to take the charge. Instead, it's an and one for Benjamin. The defense by Link is creating runouts. Strong take by Benjamin. A little too deep, in my opinion, by Darren Harris to take the charge. You got to take it out, even though there's no restricted circle here in the high school game. He was almost under the basket. You see the HCC right below the foul line stands for the Hoosier Crossroads Conference. This is the home of Brownsburg High School, about 15 miles west of downtown Indianapolis. Look at the defense by Paul the Six. Two blocks, Smith and Abraham. The push, it's on the left side, goes to the left slot. Penetration kick, ready to shoot it. That is textbook basketball on the offensive end by Paul the Sixth. Paulie, you can't just manufacture chemistry out of thin air. Paul the Sixth, th these players have been together for years, both in the summer and their high school team. But that last possession, Ted, that all came from practice over the years. All the drills, the four out, one in. Long rebound, corralled by Hammond. And Ben Hammond puts it in. That's a triple. When you talk about Isaiah Abraham, Darren Harris, and you forget about Ben Hammond. He says, I could shoot too. Going to Rhode Island and play for Archie Miller. And Shelley turns it over with 39 seconds. I just love this kid because he goes all out all the time, plays unafraid, knows when he's open, and understands how and when to get his teammates involved. Uh, Hammond at 5'11", of course, Archie Miller undersized at NC State. Hammond and Miller connected immediately. Just a great fit. Can't wait to see Ben Hammond at the next level. Who cares that he's the smallest on the floor at all times? I love small guards that can make jump shots, don't turn it over, and pick up in the backcourt. And he does all three exceptionally well. T.O. Barrett is 6'5 and covering him right now. Five to shoot, Harris falling away. Great defense. Seven seconds, Trey Johnson. The skip. And Jasper Johnson with a brick. Rebound by Hammond and a foul with one second remaining in the half. Love the pass by Trey Johnson. I don't think he would have made that pass six months ago. The time that he spent under Bill Armstrong at Link Academy, his game has grown as a passer, a ball mover, and a defender. Not sure if that would have counted. No, it wouldn't have. Way short anyway. Pull the sixth up by 13 at the break. Big first half from Isaiah Abraham with a dozen. And Paul the Six up double digits as they eye a spot in the Chipotle High School National Championship game tomorrow. 33 to 20, the Panthers on top. After the break, Matt Schick and Brooke Weisbrod preview tomorrow's Chipotle Nationals Girls Championship, including Montverde's buzzer beater earlier today. We welcome you back to Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by the Army National Guard here in Brownsburg, Indiana. First time in the 15 year history of this event. Semifinals in the boys bracket. Paul the sixth up by 13 as they look for a spot in the championship. Glad you're with us here courtside. He's Paul Biancardi. I'm Ted Emmerich. PBI was in this event for the first time a year ago. They lost a link in the quarterfinals. This team, as we see in that first half, and especially the first quarter, they look like a team that is primed to potentially win it all. Your stars playing as a unit. You can see why this team has won 34 games this year. WCAC championship and a state championship. They've been great on both sides of the ball. One of the guys who was great in the first half, Isaiah Abraham, signed with Connecticut. An explosive prospect with long arms and great speed. This guy owns 
touch and range from the outside. Look at his compact stroke, ready and waiting to knock it down. He's been a monster in this first half for PBI. And his running mate, Ben Hammond. This guy has great speed, understands his role on the team is to be a catalyst, to serve others and get his when they leave him alone. Nobody tougher, nobody with a bigger heart than 5'9", Ben Hammond. First half stats brought to you by the Army National Guard. Darren Harris, LeBaron Phylon, who we highlighted right off the top. Harris headed to Duke, seven points, had a couple of threes. Phylon coming off the 24-point game in the quarterfinals against Prolific Prep, just two points in the first half. And Trey Johnson for Link, top five player in the senior class, headed to Texas, was held to one of 10 shooting, just three points. Well, the defense, as we just mentioned for Paul VI, was stifling in the first half. Two things for Link. Number one, they got to create points from their defense. That's how they beat Prolific yesterday. More points from their defense. Second of all, going to have to do more on the offensive end, meaning get open more, because the defense for Paul VI is not allowing clean looks. Second half starts with a hook from Garrett Sundra, headed to Notre Dame. Yeah, Notre Dame has a really strong class coming in. Garrett Sundra, Cole Serta playing at IMG, and Sir Muhammad out of North Mech in Charlotte. Good foundation for Coach Shrewsbury. Yeah, Serta and Sundra faced off yesterday in the quarterfinals. Trey Johnson, oh, nothing is going down for one of the most offensively talented players in high school basketball. He's one for 11, but there was a foul called. And here's why, Ted. Watch the defense right there. Body on body, straight up, low bump. It just affects the shot just enough for it to miss because Abraham did not give him any space and he did not commit a foul and his hands were up. That was UConn type defense. Danny Hurley's loving that. So is an Andy Bach in the truck. <laughs> A proud UConn Husky. Don't forget Chris Farrow as well. With the UConn Hammond? shrine in the basement. <laughs> we saw that, didn't we? <laughs> right here in Indianapolis. All the Sports Illustrated covers championships through the years. And I said, you, you do know I played a coach at BC, right? Oh, look out. Jalen Shelley. One over the top of Gong, but that's right. Yeah, you mentioned that's right. BC, come on. I said we lost to him seven times. Why are you showing me this Yukon shrine in your basement? <laughs> Bad were, memories for me. Those were some tough days in the Big East. Rich the Big Ham East was at its zenith. Hey, Rich Hamilton, Ray Allen, you need Tylenol for those guys. <laughs> Nightmares for you. Hey, 30 years since the Elite Eight with BC, right? Yes, it was. For you? Jim O'Brien. Yep, the whole staff. Whole team, Isley, Curley, the whole group. Malcolm Huckabee. Huck, our colleague. Yep, 30 years ago this week. Go to the Elite Eight. We lose to Florida to go to the Final Four. Mm. But you beat North Carolina on the way there, right? And Indiana. Yes. Which doesn't go well in this state right now, where I'm sitting in the state of Indiana. Yes, Dan Dockage was on the staff, by the way, at Indiana at the time. Caught up with him earlier this week. Link turns it over. Jordan Smith a blur. And Harris with the tip in. Oh, Terry Harris just flying in. He's way more than a shooter. Man, he has evolved. Gungba with the block. And PVI in transition yet again. Trey Johnson commits the foul on Abraham. Watch this defense by Paul the Sixth. They're scrapping, they're stripping. And when they get the ball, they convert right away on the offensive end and look like Abraham with the tip. Guys streaking down the court, anticipating the miss. That's how you become a good offensive rebounding team. It's how they want to play, and Paul, it's how they can play because this group has played together, like we said. This team has four returning starters from a 31-win team a year ago, nine returners overall for Paul the Sixth, and again, five seniors that won the Peach Jam with Team Takeover representing the DMV. You know what this team has beside talent? Discipline. And when you mix talent and discipline, you win big. They are disciplined on the defensive end, and they are disciplined on the offensive end with their cuts and screens and ball movement. 
Oh, Trey Johnson against the big gong, but got around him, and he scores. Just his second made field goal of the game. Well, this guy's always going to find a way to the basket and the score points, Trey Johnson. When he gets to Texas and they start running sets for him and play him a little bit at the point, that is going to be helpful for the Longhorns to score points next year. Harris stepped out of bounds. Because he showed yesterday that he's not a point guard, don't get me wrong, but he can handle the ball and find others. Eight assists yesterday. When all the attention goes on him, he can become a playmaker. And here he is again initiating the offense. He's got the mismatch against the big Gongba. See if he attacks once more. He wants it back again. Little boomerang action. Johnson ran into Abraham and he draws the foul. That's the first on Abraham who has done such a nice job today against Trey Johnson. So Johnson at the line, won a 6A state championship in Texas a year ago at Lake Highlands High School, in the DFW area. Wanted a new challenge as a senior, much like his good friend Jacoby Walter, who's the Big 12 freshman of the year at Baylor, likely a lottery pick later this year in the NBA draft. Johnson talked with Walter in the offseason, what it was like for Walter to play his senior year at Link Academy, and Walter led Link to the Chipotle National Championship a year ago. Now they're in a half-court zone. 1-3-1. One, one. Look at that split by him, and you cannot trap that kid. You can try. Oh, caused a turnover. This is where they got to capitalize. Abraham threw it away. Phylon. Oh, that was halfway down. And Abraham with the rebound. Oh, look how Ben Hammond maneuvers out of trouble. Couldn't pay it off. And Trey Johnson draws another foul. Now watch Ben Hammond. For all you guards out there that are under six feet, he's 5'9". He gets low. You can't stop him. You can't trap him. He splits. And he gets a shot off, and it almost goes in against elite size on the other end. They always talk about low man wins in, in basketball and the offensive line in football. Even if you're small, you've got to get down low when you dribble the basketball. So you have a leverage when you go to the basket. Now, Glenn Farello, his coach, tells him all the time, Ben, every team that we play has a bigger and stronger version of you. So you have to find a way out there. And Farello says he does every time. Plays unafraid. He's smart. He understands there's a zone trap coming. He's going to bait two guys, then get rid of it. There it is. Now Smith is trapped. And he walked with it. Okay. If you're going to go against the trapping zone, you have to get the spots and you have to move the ball quickly. Timeout for Paul the Six. They're up 13. Third quarter in the semifinals. So beautiful. Morning, Rob. Looking great. Does that say USAA? Yeah, USAA. Amazing home, auto, and life insurance, plus banking and credit cards. I'm in because of my dad. You think that'll finally get you in? Probably not, but it looks great. USAA, for the military community and their families. Perfection. Norman, bad news. I never graduated from med school. What? But the good news is Xfinity Mobile just got even better. Now you can automatically connect to Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig on the go. Plus, buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. I gotta get this deal. That's like $20 a month per unlimited line. I don't want to miss that. That's amazing. Mobile savings are calling. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. Aww. Week 2 UFL schedule starts with the Brahmas and the Showboats tomorrow at noon Eastern on ESPN and 8 on ABC. The Arlington Renegades and the St. Louis Battlehawks. Paulie, you love these mascot names in the UFL. How I about, just want to watch for the names. Yeah, about Sunday, the Stallions and the Panthers kick off at noon Eastern on ESPN. Then on Fox at 4, the Houston Roughnecks and the D.C. Defenders. 
See some of the banners here at Brownsburg High School, just west of Indianapolis. Hey, they won a couple of state titles, including one in 1985. Drew Tower, the athletic director here at Brownsburg, such a gracious host. First time that this outstanding event has been in Indianapolis. It has gone from New York, it has gone from Fort Myers, Florida, and now here in basketball crazed Indiana. Just the perfect venue, honestly. This school is just absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a major university when you walk through the halls. Jasper Johnson misses the three and a foul inside. Yeah, you see the big logo at midcourt, the Brownsburg Bulldogs. Gordon Hayward played his wow. high school basketball here. His number hangs in the rafters, won a state championship on a buzzer beater in 2008. And of course, we remember just down the road what he did at Butler, so close to a half-court buzzer beater to knock off Duke in the national title game in 2010. Great history here. Now Hammond was trying to connect with Abraham on the lob. Well, the state of Indiana has endless history in the game of basketball. James Brown on the bench now with four personals for Link. Gung by the swat on Jasper Johnson. And Abraham missed the scoop. Jordan Smith with the putback. Paul the six is just outworking Link at times. It, it started at the very beginning of this game. Look at the active hands at 6 9. Again, There's Abraham on Johnson. Nowhere to go. And then they rotate to the ball quickly. Shelley blocking foul called on Hammond. This is big time work by Paul the six. They just missed the shot. They attacked the glass. They're quicker. They're more aware. They're faster to the ball, to the glass. Their rotations are there before the offensive player can even put it on the deck. And Shelley is at the line here. Glenn Farello, PBI's coach, Paul, says about playing on national television, which over the last few years, his team has done more and more and more. Go back a few years, they've had Jeremy Roach, they've had Trevor Keels. Now, with the likes of Gongba and Harris and Hammond and Abraham, playing on TV, the spotlight can shine on you or it can burn you. <laughs> That's a good way to say it. This team hasn't gotten burned. And you see they've won 20 in a row going back to mid-January. And you just think about what Glenn Farello has done in the last three years. He's, he's beat 32 ranked teams. He's 97 and 11 overall. And Smith with the travel before the jam. Two WCAC championships, 2022, 2024. That's no joke. DeMatha Catholic, Gonzaga, Bishop O'Connell, St. John's College. Absolutely. Again, just two losses on the year for Paul VI. The one to Montverde at the City of Palms in December. And their last loss, mid-January, to Columbus. The Boozer Twins at Hoopal. We'll see them coming up in our next semifinal. Trey Johnson hits the three for Link. It's a 10-point game. And Hammond's fouled by Jasper Johnson. Link needs to find a hot hand. Yesterday it was LeBaron Phylon. 24 big points. Trey Johnson's more than capable to go off in a quarter. He can get 15 or 20 points in one quarter. Nice. They still need to score, in my opinion, a little bit more from their defense. It's been good, but it hasn't been great. Uh, Trey Johnson has eight of, of 11 here in this third. Harris short, and the rebound by Shelley, winning the matchup against Gongba there. Hammond with the deflection. Phylon got Abraham off his feet, and he connects. What a gorgeous shot fake by Phylon. That's how you get the defense away from you. Shot fake, lift, and go. So the lead down to single digits now. Paul VI is led by as many as 16. 
Let's see if Paul the sixth goes inside to Gangba. Right on cue, double team comes. Gangba passes out of it. And Harris hangs and scores. That's why he is so important to this team and this game. He demands a double team, which created Harris to get the open drive. That ends what was a 7-0 run for Link. On a foul. It's on Gangba. Two on Gangba. He turns, he looks, he waits, and he finds Harris wide open. And Harris drives the closeout for an easy two points. But it's the vision by Gangba to see it and then the accuracy to make it. And future college teammates hooking up there, Gangba and Harris heading to Duke. And Harris named the Gatorade Player of the Year in the state of Virginia. He was also the WCAC Player of the Year this season. And that's a big time award, the Gatorade State Player of the Year. That combines character, academics, talent, community service. Darren Harris embodies all those attributes. Meanwhile, Paul, you saw Gangba taking a seat now, picked up his third personal, just a, really a silly foul on the perimeter. And Link in the bonus here at the end of the quarter, Shelley at the line. Link has done a really good job of hanging around in this game. Closed the gap to eight about a minute ago. Let's see what they do defensively. I, I think they can turn over Paul the sixth if they're really active with their defense or at least force a bad shot. Link couldn't hold on to it. PBI ball. Yep, Bill Armstrong calls for it. So it's a soft press, but they're looking to trap hard right over half court or in the corners. See how Hammond attacks it. Now they go back to man to man, and Hammond's going to run a quick hitter. Stutley takes Hammond on the switch. Hammond, no. And the rebound for Link. Trey Johnson with eight points in the quarter, 11 in the game. And T.O. Barrett, gorgeous move. He had a really good game yesterday, T.O. Barrett. Had two big buckets in the second overtime against Prolific. Yeah, he came in when James Brown got in foul trouble. He really gives them a list. He is like a catalyst for them. Tend to shoot here for Hammond against Jasper Johnson. Harris, a deep three. And it's link ball with 25 seconds. Yeah, they defended that ghost screen well. They just switched it. Tio Barrett puts it on the deck, and he always goes strong to the basket. He is looking for contact when he drives the basketball. A lot of guys want to avoid it. No, he wants to seek it out. Now, Bill Armstrong calls T.O. Barrett our P.J. Tucker. It's quite a compliment. 13 years in the NBA, just a guy who impacts winning in every way. And Bill's been in the college game for quite a long time, coached at UAB, most recently at LSU. Five seconds to go in the quarter. Link on a 10 to 2 run. Trey Johnson oh, wanted a whistle there. And the whistle blows because the ball's out of bounds. See the discipline of Jordan Smith. And he left his feet, but he kept his hand straight up and he avoided Trey Johnson. That's why a foul was not called. 1.4 here. And Harris can't get it up against TJ Stutley. So the lead is seven for Harris and Paul the sixth on our way to the fourth quarter in the semifinals at Chipotle Nationals. Discover customer service. This is Maya. Oh, hi, Maya. You robots are sounding more human every day. At Discover, everyone can talk to a human representative. All right, prove it. Wait, are you a robot? 24-7 U.S.-based customer service. How would I prove that I'm not? Excuse me, would you mind taking a picture of us? Oh, no problem. Thanks. Ooh, yes, problem. You need Verizon. Get the new iPhone 15 Pro with tons of storage, so you can take all the pics. Trade in any iPhone in any condition and get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Only on Verizon. The national championship has arrived. Sunday on ABC and ESPN+. Plus.
Lake Academy closes the third on a 10 to 2 run. They're within seven as we start the fourth quarter semifinals at Chipotle Nationals. Ted Emmerich, Paul Biancardi, our entire crew. Link in the fourth could use a little more of this from LeBaron Phylon. Well, he can certainly create his own shot one on one. That's what he's known for. He's turned into more of a point guard here at Link. How about that shot fake into the one dribble pull up? That's next level. The ability to shake your defender, create your own space, get to the spot, and knock it down. And he is our Chipotle player spotlight. Here is LeBaron Phylon's order the day after National Burrito Day. He goes with a simple order. Bowl with chicken, rice, queso, and cheese. The shredded cheese on top of the queso. Pretty fundamental. Yeah. Just, just kind of like that shot fake into the one dribble pull-up. <laughs> simple, smart, knows what he wants, knows how to get there. You want to tell LeBaron that? He's right in front of us. I'm not going to tell him a thing. Okay. Let Bill Armstrong tell him everything. All right. At Bill Self next year at Kansas. That's right. Jalen Shelley, good look to start the fourth. Oh, great look. But way offline. Now, Paul the sixth has led this one by as many as 18, in fact. But again, that run for Link to make this a game. Winner advances to the championship tomorrow, noon Eastern on ESPN2 against either Columbus or top seed Montverde. Hammond. Trey Johnson, number five player in the senior class, left it short. Johnson, 3 of 15 today with 11 points. Jasper Johnson poked it out of Harris's hands. Still PBI ball. So, PB, we got your order as well. How about <laughs> this? I, I love the fajita veggies. I think those are so underrated at Chipotle. Extra romaine. I can't thank you enough. I am so hungry right now. Can that order get to the table? <laughs> we'll put it in the app. Harris! Where's Paul Bronstetter when you need him? With the triple. Uh, he's busy elsewhere, trust me. 14 for Harris, and the lead is back to double digits. And Jalen Shelley is fouled as Gongba was trying to stick with him. That's the fourth on Gongba. Look at the shot mechanics. The balance, the feet, the eyes, the release, and he's got a great rotation on the jump shot. You couldn't see it right there, but everything in line, no wasted motion. One of the outstanding shooters in the senior class, one of the top 10 shot makers in all of high school basketball. That's how good Darren Harris is. Phylon blocked by Sundra. Boy, big play in the middle with Gongba on the bench now with four personals. Hammond slipped. And a timeout for Glenn Farello and Paul the Sixth with Hammond in trouble. We'll step aside. Discover customer service. This is Maya. Oh, hi, Maya. You robots are sounding more human every day. At Discover, everyone can talk to a human representative. All right, prove it. Wait, are you a robot? 24-7 U.S.-based customer service. How would I prove that I'm not? Norman, bad news. I never graduated from med school. But the good news is Xfinity Mobile just got even better. Now, you can automatically connect to Wi-Fi speeds up to a gig on the go. Plus, buy one unlimited line and get one free for a year. I gotta get this deal. That's like $20 a month per unlimited line. I don't want to miss that. That's amazing. Mobile savings are calling. Visit XfinityMobile.com to learn more. Mmm. 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 Mm. Delicious creamy milk chocolate and whole hazelnuts. The Lind Hazelnut Bar. It's beyond words. Find your mm. at checkout. Chipotle Basketball Nationals presented by the Army National Guard is brought to you by Chipotle. Real ingredients, real flavor. Chipotle for real. And the Army National Guard, the next greatest generation 
is now. We're just west of Indianapolis, Brownsburg High School, Paul the Sixth, Link Academy semifinals as we crown a high school basketball national champion. Well, PBI and their head coach, Glenn Farello, draws inspiration from a WCAC rival and friend. Pat Behan was the head coach at St. John's College High School. He had to step down. He's battling ALS in his mid-30s. Remember the story on Sports Center with Scott Van Pelt a year ago? Behan and St. John, John's College beat PBI in the WCAC championship a year ago. So when Farello and Paul VI won the title this year, the first text he got was from Pat and his wife, Natalie. The disease has certainly taken its toll on Behan, but Farello says Pat's mind is as sharp as ever, and in fact, Farello asked for his help with the game plans for this week. So far, Coach Behan has been spot on with his game plan. I love the way Glenn just, you know, reaches out to him all the time, stays connected to him, but also utilizes his great basketball mind. And I know Pat enjoys still coaching the game. Harris draws the foul here late in the shot clock. And it's awesome to see earlier in the year when Pat and Natalie got married and Farello and his team continue to check in, continue to visit Behan as he battles ALS. And Glenn also says when we don't do things right, he lets me know about it. So he's, he's coaching, he's scouting, he's given Glenn Farello some really good tips. Harris hits the first. Action-packed ESPN April rolls on tonight. The women's Final Four starting at 7 Eastern. Sunday night baseball. Astros and Rangers, an ALCS rematch. And ESPN Hockey Night features the top teams in the Western Conference. Top-seeded Stars and the second-seeded Avs. So Harris pushes the lead back to a dozen for Paul the Sixth, nearing the six-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. And Harris, in fact, has scored the last seven for PBI. Coming through just when Paul the Sixth needs him. Link needs Trey Johnson to get going against Abraham. And hit the side of the backboard. Ham in the lob. Jordan Smith throws it down. And look out. Better put a mat underneath the basket for the landing. There is nowhere to go against this Paul the Sixth defense. Okay, they push it on the offensive end, they look up, and they just throw the alley oop. And that all stemmed from their defensive pressure, their defensive help. That is turning defense into offense quickly. So a timeout for Link with 5.39 to go, and we check the bracket. Championship game tomorrow, noon Eastern on ESPN2. We look forward to our other semifinal. Both Florida teams, Columbus from Miami, Montverde from Central Florida, 31-0 on the season with the number one player in the country, Cooper Flagg. Cameron Boozer of Columbus. They have met several times over the last nine months, and they'll do it again here today. Two of the three best players in all of high school basketball, regardless of class. Cooper Flagg, Cameron Boozer, A.J. DeBonsa. Those are the top three. Now, Boozer, number two in the junior class. Flagg, number one in the senior class. Headed to Duke. Link trying to end a 7-0 run by PBI. Jasper Johnson misses the three. Contested. Hand in his face. When there's a hand up, the percentage goes down. Just about everything has been contested for Link here today. Hammond the kick. Abraham. Jasper Johnson in the paint. James Brown back in with the four personals, and he follows. Good hustle, good work by James Brown going to North Carolina, 23 in the black. He'll join Drake Powell and Captain Ian Jackson out of New York. Great class for Hubert Davis. Really is. Brown will be a low post threat eventually, come in and rebound and defend early on, but Jackson and Powell should be able to score early in Chapel Hill. Five to shoot for the Panthers. Harris against Phylon, launching. 
And it did touch the rim. Shot clock violation. Great defense by Link. They had to cover screens and cuts, dribble drives for 30 seconds. Uh, they held their own. Now can they capitalize and maybe put together a couple of consecutive stops and scores? Still plenty of time with the firepower they have. Barrett with a nice turnaround. That's a good start. Lead down to 10. But you've got to be solid defensively against Paul the Sixth. If you gamble too much, they're going to make you pay. Veteran point guard Ben Hammond at the controls. Abraham over Barrett. And a foul on Paul the Sixth. Looks like it's on Jordan Smith. That's his second. By Link playing that 1-3-1 one, one zone, Paul the Sixth is going to get an open shot in the corner if they want it, or Abraham decided to drive it. You're just going to get different type of rhythm shots. It's not going to be out of your man-to-man -man set. So you've got to be ready, willing, and able to score the ball when you're open. See how Link rolls the ball into the front court. Clock doesn't start until they touch it. Try to save as much time as possible. Little matchup zone by Paul the Sixth. They're not in man, they're not in zone. Throwing a confusing defense at Link, just like Link has been throwing at them all day. Six to shoot. Trey Johnson, NBA range. That's his shot. I mean, he can shoot deep ones. We saw it at the McDonald's All-American game. He had five of them, but has not shot it well this week here at Brownsburg High School. Under 10 to shoot for Hammond. He's got the big James Brown on him. Smith slashes in. And that close to a three-point play. He's fouled. He is just a burst of speed. Jordan Smith catches it on the wing, very decisive. Once he catches the basketball, he plays with his head up, his eyes are wide open. He sees the gap, he attacks it. There's no hesitation when he decides to do something. And that's so important as an offensive player. You have to make quick, half second to a second type of decisions. Jordan Smith might have the highest upside of anybody on the Paul the Sixth roster. Because of his youth, I would say yes. And because of his aggressiveness, his energy, and his skill level is good. We're not talking about just an energy guy. We're talking about a basketball player who plays with great energy. And he's a defender. Like, he, he wants to get right into Trey Johnson. Ten-point lead for Paul the Six with under three to play. Shelley out to Barrett. Now Jasper Johnson with the Euro. Short, loose ball. And Jordan Smith is the one to save it. He's wearing that number 23. He's playing like a number 23. <laughs> MJ. <laughs> He invites the trap, Ben Hamm. Look at this. Dribbles out of it and gets rid of it. Open look for Smith. Couldn't cash in. And Jasper Johnson. Oh, so close to losing it. Now in the danger zone. Approaching two minutes. Johnson short. And a rebound for Hammond. Yeah, Paul the sixth is not going to give this one away. You got to take it. to Isaiah Abraham. That's taking it. And a timeout for Link Academy. Paul the Six doesn't relax. They don't slow it down. They want to make a statement. They want to be in the championship game, and they're here to win it. Boy, the head is up by Paul the Six. All their players are looking up the floor, left and right. They got great vision, and they give it up to each other very quickly. Remember Abraham at the big first half for Paul the Sixth had a dozen, now 15 in the game. At the City of Palms, where Paul the Sixth beat Link in the third place game, you said on ESPN that Isaiah Abraham needs to get to the rim more. Glenn Farello told us last week that he had the game on the DVR 
And as he was watching, he heard you say that, and he said, amen, Coach B, <laughs> amen. He told Abraham about it. He has counted Abraham's dunks since that tournament. He had three dunks, Abraham did, all of December. And in the next six weeks, he had 24. Because he would settle at times for shots. He wanted to be considered a shooter, and he can shoot the ball very well. But his athleticism, long arms, and speed should be able to get him to the basket. So the more aggressive he becomes off the bounce, the more it actually helps his jump shot. And he's been able to score inside and out and in the mid-range here today. Johnson bounces it off Abraham to save it for Link. See, if you can shoot and drive, and when you drive, you can go right or left, now you become a hard cover. But if you just shoot the ball, you're actually easy to defend because people know where to find you. Just like how Darren Harris has evolved his offensive game over the last two years. Yeah, and there's straight line drivers and then there's creative drivers. Trey Johnson, creative score, but just not able to score today against Paul the sixth. You know, everything close, but not in. And Hammond just darting this way, darting that way, and he draws the foul again. Sometimes teams just relax against Ben Hammond. They think he's going to dribble the ball out. No, you're wrong. If you leave him alone for a second, he's going to try to put the ball in the basket. James Brown fouls out for the second straight day. Four points and four rebounds for Brown. Now, you see a lot of Tyler Eulis in Ben Hammond's game. Former SEC Player of the Year at Kentucky. A lot. The jump shot. The ab ability to handle against pressure, find guys quickly, and pick up the ball anywhere he wants, full court, half court. And he's a leader. And he uses his voice, which is so important for point guards. Shelley pops out. Boy, Paul the sixth putting the clamps on Link here today. Now a minute to go, and Hammond's fouled. And Link is a high-level, talented team who plays very good defense. And all five guys can score the ball. They have multiple guys that can score 20 points or more. You said it, put the clamps on, shut them down. This was an outstanding defensive performance by Paul the Sixth. I mean, if you, you asked Bill Armstrong before the game and said, okay, Paul the Sixth is only going to get 53 points, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. Great. We can score 54. Not this afternoon. Especially after Paul the Sixth put up 101 yesterday in regulation. That's a sign of a team that can beat others in an up tempo game or a grinded out half court affair. Paul the sixth is a championship type team. They're going to have that opportunity tomorrow at noon on ESPN2. Foul just as Hammond puts it in. So T.O. Barrett picks up his first, trying to play the foul game, but again, 14 point lead for Paul the sixth. They play like a championship team, they act like a championship team, they defend like one. Everybody knows their role. You know, they know it's Ben Hammond with the ball in his hands. This guy has to score, Darren Harris. And Paulie, Paul the Sixth, as elite as they are, they don't come from the Nike EYBL Scholastic. This tournament includes five of those teams. Of course, the top seed, Montverde, won the championship in that league this year. Think about IMG and AZ Compass and Link, for that matter. PVI with a team of players from the DMV coming in here as the number two seed and well deserved. Jalen Shelley knocks down the three. Finally, one goes down here for Lake in a timeout with 46 seconds. So a 13 point lead for PBI. Well, Darren Harris didn't put up 36 like he did yesterday in the quarterfinals, but still a big game for the future Duke Blue Devil. 
and always a threat. He stretches out the defense because you must contest his shot. That allows driving lines. It allows him to shot fake and pull up. The fact that Darren Harris is on the court is a nightmare for opponents because if you forget about him, he's going to make you pay. And if you pay too much attention to him, others are going to get off for PVI. 18 today for Harris. Half of the total from yesterday against IMG, which was one short of the record here at Chipotle Nationals in the 15-year history of the event. Harris will take another shot at it tomorrow in the championship game. All right, here we go, four wide. You see this with Scott Drew and Baylor all the time late in games. And it allows a player like Harris, one of your best free throw shooters, to end up with the ball. Well, it's hard to scout that alignment. You don't know where somebody's going to go, but when they're standing on the court, then you can find them a lot easier. You know, coming into Chipotle Nationals, Paul the sixth in the ESPN 25 team rankings was number three. Link was number six. Montford number one. And Columbus number four. The chalk is holding up. Well, ask and you shall receive. And the winner of Chipotle Nationals will end up number one in the nation when it's all said and done. As they should be. You win three games at Chipotle Nationals, you deserve it. Hammond comes away with it. And maybe Link is done with the foul game at this point. Look, Link had a big time comeback win yesterday against Prolific, who's an extremely talented team. They had a very good season. It's a whole new team from last year when they won it all. I thought they played together as a unit with all this great individual talent. They have a lot to be proud of. They finished, you know, top six in the high school team rankings. Great season for Link Academy. In just their third year as a program, Bill Armstrong in his second year as the head coach, he replaced Rodney Perry, who started the program, now an assistant under Jerome Tang at Kansas State. 2022, they were the runner-up here. Last year, winning it all with Elliot Cadeau and Jacoby Walter. 86 wins in three years for Link Academy. But they don't have enough here today against Harris, Smith, Abraham, and Paul the Sixth. Just high-level coaches at Chipotle Nationals, guys that really know their craft. Woo! Okay, Jalen Shelley. Final seconds and landing on the highlight reel, and now he's limping. Shelley limping and a stoppage here with six and a half. Hopefully he's all right after the dunk. Boy, just what you want, closing out your high school career, getting signed with Arkansas despite the coaching change that's coming there. Hopefully just a twinge. Well, the story here in our first semifinal is we will have a new champion at Chipotle High School Nationals. Link Academy won it a year ago. They bow out in the semis to Glenn Farello and the two seed Paul the Sixth. The Panthers from the legendary WCAC will play for it all tomorrow after a 58-44 win. Noon Eastern ESPN 2 tomorrow championship game. PBI will play either Columbus or Montverde. That semifinal comes your way in about 20 minutes. 4.30 Eastern right here on ESPN 2. For Paul Biancardi, this is Ted Emmerich saying so long for now. Paul the sixth on to the championship here at Chipotle Nationals.